I'm here on the iTron boot with Tim and Lop Sang. Guys, you had some pretty interesting announcements made here at Distributech. What are you up to? Yeah, so we have our, our distributed intelligence platform here, yeah. which is a mechanism for distributing analysis, decision making, and action all the way out to the edge of the grid right. on meters and devices at that end, which yeah. allows us to do uh, much more rapid identification and much more thorough identification of, of problems and opportunities. Right. Um, over the last uh, couple of years, we've introduced that into the market and uh, with several iTron applications. Right. And and what we've just announced here and what we're very excited about because we see this being really the, the future of the, of the ecosystem of applications is our first third party uh, application running on the iTron meters. That I can deploy down that, onto... That you can deploy the, through our app store just like an iTron app yeah. and, and run that and that is completely developed by a, by a third party. And that third party is Utilidata. Yeah. Uh, and the application is uh, Voltvar optimization. Right. And I'm going to pass over to Lob Sang and let him describe a, a little more detail about how, how that was done and what Perfect. the application does. Thanks, Tim. Perfect. So yeah, as Tim mentioned, uh, Utilidata, we are the first third party app to develop uh, something on the Riva meters. Yeah. Um, essentially, the core of Utilidata's technology is really about grid optimization. So what that includes is from your substation all the way down to your end use customer, we're trying to use devices to optimize the power flow and voltages across all of the circuit. Right. So we have a signal based approach to that problem. Yeah. And now with this Riva platform, we can embed some of our signal intelligence away from a centralized approach to grid optimization and now embed that intelligence in every single Riva meter out there. And that's the first application that we'll be presenting today. Via the software that's deployed down onto the device. Correct, exactly. So these meters are capable of distributed computing power yep. and so we, our application can process the raw voltage signals and the raw data signals that typically would have to be processed centrally. We can do that at the edge on every single meter. And the other great thing about this is it has advanced communications capabilities. So these meters eventually will be able to talk amongst themselves through a peer-to-peer -peer communications network. Right. And what that allows us to do is instead of comparing a lot of data centrally, these meters can talk amongst themselves and say, hey, I'm the low voltage meter or I'm the meter you should be focused on and then that meter is the only one that sends you know data back to our central platform so, so they, they look after themselves they correct, exactly. collaborate amongst themselves <laughs> exactly. and they don't need to go to the big control room in the sky that's right and so everything happens seamlessly it's all real time and that's exactly what we're showing here today is you know the first thing we're trying to do is compute raw voltages and turn them into something that's more optimal for our control strategy yeah to be able to control grid devices at the substation and on the circuits uh, and soon you know as we have more meters uh, all of this intelligence get shared amongst themselves to make much better decisions for the grid as a whole. And I'm guessing as as the role of the distribution companies, the DSOs, changes and evolves and they start looking at offering new services, they'll start looking at dropping all sorts of apps down onto some platform because the problem before was that they wanted a new plat they wanted a new app, they had a new box. Yes. So now let's use this is this has been the nirvana we've been waiting for for a couple of years in the industry. Right. Yeah, and, and the other key uh, advance that we've made is is there's a true app model. Historically, uh, this was done through firmware upgrades. Yeah, yeah. And that was a you know a fairly long drawn out process of testing and all of those sorts of things. All of these apps run within their own isolated containers. So the utility so consumer virtualization on a meter. Yes, they can download that without worrying about in any way interfering with that core cache register function of the device, which is really the, the trick because it's one thing to have the capability but it's another to be able to practically make use of it. No, I agree. And, and, and it's really that app model, just like we've all become so familiar with on our phones, um, of being able to just download little bits of functionality that make perfect sense for what we're trying to do right now, when we need it. So the whole concept of rolling out new services, yeah. the paradigm changes completely. Yes. And that's exactly, you know, as for Utilidata, we're really excited to work with iTron on because as a first third-party app, we're really trying to get through a lot of the documentation, a lot of the understanding of the process of how to load, you know, applications yep. on the meter, how to transfer data back into utility systems and other systems out there. So uh, it's, a, it's a really great, pro uh, you know, process and it's something excited to, to tackle with iTron. Wow. Guys, thank you very much. I wish you well. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Yeah.